Hello there and welcome to Dundee Piano. Today we're going to have a look at a piece called River Flows in You by Yuruma. This is going to be an introductory video just to get you going with the basics of the first page really. The sheet music is available online and that's where I found it. And it's in the key of F sharp minor which is three sharps. F sharp, C sharp and uh, G sharp. So we're going to look at the basics of the left hand, the right hand, how you put them together and how you play the first few lines of this piece, okay? And I hope to do another video which will take it on to the, the further parts of the tune. As a preview, here's how it would sound when you put it together. Okay, that's on the second page. So, I made one little mistake there, but mostly I got that uh, correct. Let's look at the first part of this tune. The left hand starts on F sharp, and the way I find sharps is look them in groups. So, they've got a group of three sharps just beside middle C here. Three sharps, and it's the first of these three. This one. Then the C sharp is next, it's the first of the group of two. And then you're back to another F sharp. So that's your first left hand pattern. Yeah. As we go through, we'll look at some things you can practice. So this is something you can practice. Yeah. Pinky to thumb. So get that one nice and steady. Then the next pattern. You're stepping down two notes to a D, which is between the two sharps. Okay, you're going D, A, and then an E. If your hand can't, can't quite reach, uh, use a sustain pedal. Look, no hands. If you press the right pedal on a piano, or on some digital pianos, press the right pedal, sustain the sound okay so that means you don't have to reach the full length practice playing the pedal every time your pinky plays okay pedal and pinky go together and so in between you're just lifting your pedal slightly so the pedal is going to hold each chord and up and down, up, down, up, down. You see that? Okay. So that's the left hand for the first line. Switch into right. We're going up from middle C, another octave above, and the pinky is going to play an A. So that's after the second of the three sharps. One, two, three. It's in here. Okay. Go into the G sharp, A, G sharp. Okay. So there's an exercise you can do. Put your thumb on D between the two. Put your pinky on A. Yeah. And just practice that. Five, four, five, four, five, two, five, one. Where every finger has its own number. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, five, four, five, two, five, one. Da, 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 da. That's quite a common part in the tune. Da, 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 da. 
keeps coming back again and again. So yeah, you want to look out for that. In the first line you have that little phrase. Then your thumb goes down to A near middle C. And you're jumping up to C sharp. Yeah, these two. That's part of an arpeggio actually. I recommend that you also look at the videos for arpeggios for A major and also scales for A major and scales for F sharp minor. Yeah, and I'll put links or little information about the scales and arpeggios so you can practice those, you know. gets your hands in the right shape for songs like this. Uh -huh. So that's the basics of the first line. Both pinkies starting. Let's put them together. Left hand F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. Right hand A, G sharp. So the first three notes. That's both together. Oops. Then just the right again. Get that pattern going, yeah? And then the left hand moves down two keys, but the right hand's still in the same place. Okay, together, F sharp. So on to the second line. It's a kind of similar shape, but the notes go a little quicker on the right, so it's... Okay. So when I look at that, I think each finger has a, has a key. If you can reach an octave, which is eight notes, can reach that please do and then you've got five four five one four five one three five one two one okay so then every finger plays a key in this bar yeah? five three two you're kind of counting down from five four three two one yeah all the way down that So, that's a good little exercise to practice to get you reaching from octave to octave. Okay, and if you put it with the left hand. We have both, both right, left, right, 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 left, right, both, right, left, right, both, right. Okay? <laughs> Slightly complicated, it's probably easier to play than explain, yeah? Both, both, right, left, right, left. And then into the second bar of the second line. So we have a grace note here, or crush note, acciacciatura in Italian. Okay, so the B to the C sharp are basically playing together and then letting go of the B. Yeah? Down to the G sharp B. phrase that's kind of going around the A major, the A major arpeggio and the A major scale. So those are good things to learn alongside this. You may notice me 
changing fingers slightly. What you're aiming to do is get your thumb going to the lowest note, which here is E, and your pinky going to the highest note, which is also E, the high E. And then, the thing is that if you do that, you've used up all your fingers before you can get up to the E. So you may like to go like that. If crossing hands, make your thumb go under and make your middle go over. Okay, cross them this way. Okay, so putting them together with the left hand, the left is actually going to drop down. So after you do this, to the next bar, the left pinky is down to A, B, e, C sharp. A, B, e, C sharp. And then E, B, E. Well, I would call that an open fifth. We have the one, five, and the octave. The one, the five, and the octave. It's the same as you have in the C, F, C sharp. F sharp. Okay, your open fifth. Then you have an open f a fifth with an extra third on top. Anyway, let's see how it sounds. together yeah it finishes here use your pedal right sustain pedal to keep it on the next four bars are really just like a repeat of those with some embellishments so instead of just going we have a little grace note two grace notes added in instead of akakatura this time it's a podiatura so they're longer they borrow time from it So instead of, it's not crushed, it's slightly longer. Yeah, you hear the difference? Instead of, it's... contrast to the previous phrase where it's, it's going down, this time it's going up. High C sharp, B. So going onwards, the phrases get smoother and shorter notes. Da, 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 da. Semi quavers, we call them, with the two lines. To B, not C. Okay. Right. So I'm going to wrap this. Begin to wrap this lesson up because this is just really an introduction to the piece and where your hands are and what notes you're playing. Okay and um, hopefully you've enjoyed it and I'll try and do another video that goes a bit further into the details of it. Um, in the meantime, just here, here's the last few bars of that page just to give you an idea of where you're going. Left hand is following the same pattern, right hand is really just embellishing on what's there. So as we wrap up this lesson, let's look at the last few bars of that page where you're going up.
thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you soon.